Welcome to Kyber Lab episode 33. This is a Jedi Jedi Master Kenobi with Commander Sokotano versus Jedi Master Kenobi with Commander Sokotano. Not an exact mirror, but close. Um, and here in Kyber Lab, we're looking at maxing banners, removing RNG, and avoiding any mistakes. So, this is a very simple fight that it's still possible to screw up or maybe lose some banners, um, especially when there's an R2D2 in the enemy team which causes some issues with targeting, um, potentially in the middle of the fight. Uh, so, gear doesn't really matter so much. B or route the same, but can be a bit lower, no real problems. Mod check, nothing special. Speed, it's actually sort of helpful if your own JMK goes second, because your alt will go off after their alt and give you a little bit of bonus protection and such. Um, so, how you play, you trade tank kills, then you build your Xi'an charges, um, or power, essentially, availability and power. You kill all the sides first, usually Commander Sokotano is the first one, and then the other ones. Um, JMK is the last target. And uh, yeah, the other stuff will go in as we get in here. RNG impact is like minimal. It's theoretically possible that over 30 or 40 attacks in a row, they all target the same character, but it's totally random with Commander so With these characters, it's random with Commander Sokotano and Jedi Master Kenobi, so it should be very easy. Let's see how it goes. So, opening moves, they each give their cooldown resets. And then very opening move, instead of targeting um, to the Master Kenobi, you should target Commander Sokitano if she doesn't have her invulnerability available or on her, which she didn't since your Jedi Master Kenobi moved first, just to wear down a little bit more of her protection. So here comes the tank trades. There's one, there's the other. AoE to get Ahsoka to assist. In terms of um, overall damage, it's usually an overall alt charge, not damage, alt charge and potentially damage in long fights, it's better for Kenobi to target himself. However, because it's usually more beneficial to do your alt second, there's not a particular need to do self-targeting of the alt, and I think it's more useful to build up damage on a secondary character by targeting them. Anytime with Kenobi, you target a other character, you give them master increases. So in this case, I would either do it on Anakin or Cat. Your choice on how you want to do it, but I think in the mirror fights especially, it's better to build mastery on a second character, not only on Kenobi. He only distributes it when he does his, um, with his ultimate. And do all three of these characters need mastery and damage? I guess technically yes, but one of them is your heavy hitter. Anyway, let's see how it goes. So here is now the alt, excuse me, a smoke screen from R2-D2, and he'll always do the healthiest, not always, but generally the healthiest target. Um, so this is Kenobi, so you cannot target Ahsoka or Cat until Jedi Master Kenobi activates his alt, which you could do right now. Yes, it's only a half charge, but because Commander Sogatano is probably about to be able to use her um, Force Leap, it would expose these characters to the Force Leap if you activated high ground. It's an option. In this case, he doesn't choose to do it. She didn't have Force Leap available anyway. Another thing, building Xi'an charges. So you are giving Jedi Master Kenobi um, mastery when you target him with any ability, Xi'an or any other ability. However, it doesn't really build her Force Leap. That's better if you get to the assisting character, which is Ahsoka Tano. And that's generally what I try and do, so there's more Force Leap available, rather than trying to build up a single Force Leap. Or more damage in your single Force Leap. But everybody has a different way to do it. You do what works for you. So we go into our high ground, and now next time Kenobi takes a turn, 
He will dispel stealth from all enemies. He does his alt. High ground's active. Okay, do not ever, ever, ever use force leap. It, it's like making two mistakes here at once. Um, first of all, Kenobi should be the last character. The other ones are much easier to kill than him. Generally, with these characters, they are. Um, and secondly, you don't want to use force leap if somebody has the purple protection, because that prevents critical hits. So wait until they have just the white protection, so force leap can do its uh, critical damage, which is a huge portion of the damage. So, gonna give him vulnerability to Commander Ahsoka, all right. Now you can target anybody. I don't know why they're still targeting Kenobi. Should go after Commander Ahsoka Tano. And again, okay, just Xi'an is fine. This time he gives Xi'an to, I don't know why he gave it to Jedi Anakin. Anakin doesn't spell but unless Padme is in the team with his AoE ability. And he can just use his mini savior from General Master Kenobi. Okay, finally they're going after Commander Ahsoka Tano. Our Ahsoka is dead. All of that is avoidable, or would have been avoidable if played differently. Okay, perfect time to use that. Now if Commander if Ahsoka Tano was dead, the assists very likely would have killed Commander Ahsoka Tano. But our own Commander Sokotano is dead. Now it's just Anakin and Kenobi. It's a, it's a duo that many of us have probably seen before. The healing immunity is problematic. So, AoE, interesting. Oh, very nice, very nice. Very nice. This actually might be a win. But... If it is a win, it's really just luck. And going, oh, oh, that doesn't look great. So avoid those mistakes at the beginning and you won't have to be in this position. You should usually be able to get 62, 63 plus points. You're always generally gonna your, lose your tank, but you shouldn't lose more than that. The only thing that makes this fight a little bit tricky, he could have gone into alt there, yeah. Could have done it earlier. It's 50 and 100, so no reason to wait. Uh, maybe he's waiting for the healing immunity to wear off. That could be it. Anyway, the only thing that makes this fight a little tr tricky is... Ooh. <laughs> that's, that's lucky. That's super lucky. The only thing that makes this fight tricky is R2-D2. Just go into halt early to give high ground and be able to target Commander Sokotano. Or wait and store up the damage on the Force Leap. And that's it. I hope you found this helpful. Cheers.